Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with a review video of the Moto Minded Torch Helmet Light. Now this is, I believe, the second iteration of the Torch Helmet Light. Uh, they had one before that was really good, um, but they wanted to redesign it and I actually was kind of bummed because I had demoed one and really enjoyed it. And when I sent it back, I decided I was going to buy one and then I had a customer that wanted one and they... When I called them to make the order, they said, oh, sorry, we're actually redesigning that thing. I'm like, well, cr ah, crap, that was awesome. <laughs> we really liked it. He's like, ah, trust me, it's going to be better. Well, it took him a while uh, to get it done and redesigned, but I'm really excited. I think Chris over at Motominded did a bang-up job of the redesign. Let me show you what it looks like, uh, and then tonight we're going to go out and hammer it out, and then uh, we'll talk about it after I get done. All right, to start, we got this is the mount. Um, this is actually stickied to the helmet, the 3M adhesive. It's super duper strong. I put this on a little while ago. I actually have not gotten to use the light yet, so I'm really excited to get it out tonight. This is one of the differences that they did. They made this recessed down in here. So if you can take a look, you can see how the magnet here is actually recessed down in. So that matches up to this piece here. You can see there's the other side of the magnet. This piece is going to match down in there. So, boom, just like that. Um, I've already pre sort of aimed it a little bit before uh, with it on my head, just walking around the house. And I think that's gonna work really good because your helmet is actually way more down like that than you think. So there we go. Also, it is adjustable on the fly. You can move it like that, so super easy. So here, you got the clip, put that in. That'll hold it like that, keep it up out of the way. Got a button here for turning it on and off. The other really super cool thing about the motor minded setup is it runs off of these batteries, these anti-gravity micro start batteries. The super easy to get a hold of at any of your normal motorcycle dealerships can get you one. Probably get one online, super cheap at Rocky Mountain. The nice thing is that it just plugs right in to the outlet like that. This plugs into their harness. And it's nice because it doesn't have to go a certain way. You just plug it in. Waterproof and it's super tight, which is good. There we go. Turn our battery pack on. Shows the charge right there. Boom. Just like that. Really excited about trying this thing out tonight, guys. Uh, I think it's going to be rad. That paired up with the motor-minded headlight that I have, I think we're going to be able to see really well. Buddy and I are going to head out to Dry Creek, so stay tuned during this video. We're going to head to Dry Creek tonight. When we get done, we'll come back and talk about what I think. What do you think, Bibbs? <laughs> oh, that's good stuff right there. I actually am sorry about that. If I blind the Foxy Bibbs, it gives me an advantage. Bibs, I'll follow you. See, that's where the helmet light is key. Seeing through those turns. Oh, 
by the way. Uh. All right, babes, what do you think? Pretty sweet. Yeah, That's we're fun. having fun. I actually wish it was cooler out. I know, it's actually not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it'll get cooler as we go. I'm hot and sweaty. Where do you want to go now? But cool thing is, boom! <laughs> now let's go see if we can catch Mr. Bibbs in the night. I kind of don't think so. those bars yeah i'm good with it you spend lots of money yeah. oh dude yeah the normal yeah the longest e-walk yeah because you can cut it off yeah we'll uh, do the longest e-walk long e-walk and then down around do cushman and then head out like down the other you know out the uh the road yeah yeah you just ride that thing as long as you want What do you think, Bibbs? I love those forks. <laughs> Damn, I'm so excited about getting them. <laughs> it's so good, dude. But the, the thing is, it doesn't do anything weird. I mean, when you when you do hit really hard, it doesn't go... Yeah. I mean, it, for this riding, it's plush. Yeah. Rocks, and then it doesn't bottom when you get into the whoops or, or a ditch. Yeah. It didn't bottom out. It felt awesome. 
Ja. All right, folks, I think this will be the last bit of single track for the night. We did a little Cushman Creek backwards from what I normally run at Bibbs. Cushy. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Cut loose, man. There's freaking moths. Like a moth to a flame. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Dude, you came into that thing with that little fence gate. Just back there are all sorts of sideways. guys so that was an awesome ride um, it was super duper fun pretty good conditions it was pretty dusty so you had to stay super close if you wanted to not uh, be in just tons of dust um, but it was still awesome I know I said I was gonna talk to you guys that same night about the helmet light but we got done too late I had to go to sleep so anyway here we are we're at the shop I want to talk to you about what I think about the torch helmet light um, from Moto Minded so first of all let's talk about the mount the mount is rad. So again, magnet, thing goes on super easy. The one thing I can say about the magnet, actually, let me just touch this, is if it gets in the dirt, if there's any metallic anything in the dirt, it picks it up. Because <laughs> it is a really strong magnet. But I do like the fact that it just goes on like that. Um, as you see in the video right here, do hit something with it it can knock it off um, although upon further inspection last night and looking at everything I think it was actually because the cord was kind of sticking out like this uh, and it probably hung up and caused it to pull off like that the downside is that happened relatively easy um, I didn't even really brush into the tree that hard 
The upside is it didn't try to rip my head off as I went around, so that was awesome. And it was super easy to pop it back on. But if this were your only light and that happened, it would be <laughs> terribly exciting in the middle of the night to have all the light go away very quickly. So that's one thing to consider. I still really like the mount. This little guy that's supposed to hold the thing, that thing sucks. Chris, Vestal, that thing sucks because it was in here for like five seconds and it broke. So I don't like this thing. They do send another thing. I'll grab that here in a second and show you what it is. But you do need something to hold the cord so that it doesn't want to pop out like that and then hang up on stuff. This is the other thing they send with it. It's this little funky 3D printed, it's kind of squishy, but it's cool. I think it goes, you know, you put the cord in it like this. And obviously it's not hooked to the helmet yet, but that will help keep the cord where it needs to be. Um, you know, mostly it could get pulled out of there, but that's okay. It seems like this is gonna be a lot better. I like the flexibleness of it. Flexibility, I should say. Flexibleness, so that is not a word, uh, but I'm using it. It is now! <laughs> Zach Sheet says it's a word. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. It also comes with this uh, split ring, and I'm not sure exactly what that's for, because I really don't want to use that. I guess it could be for if you're gonna like set this up for like more permanent, like I'm gonna go race the Baja 1000 at night, you know, night section or all night or whatever. Maybe you'd put this through the little holes on there and then that would just ensure that it couldn't come out. Uh, you just deal with it later, right? Um, but uh, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm just gonna stick this thing here. I cleaned the helmet already. It's got the 3M super good adhesive and then that will like i said it's gonna keep that cord all nice and tucked back in there i can reach up turn the, the uh, light on and off with that i think it should be good to go in general really 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 like the magnetic mount it's easy also i like the aimability it's easy enough to turn it but it doesn't turn while you're riding also you can move it in and out like like that you gotta kind of be careful because of the magnet part of it, but you can go like that. Um, so I really, really like the mount. I like the aimability, everything. So that's super cool. The battery. Chris has a setup you can order either with a battery power or with a bike power. I like the battery power. I've mentioned it before, but I like it because you're separate from the bike. You can stop, get off, walk away from the bike but still have light it doesn't you know it doesn't go with the bike you don't have to like unplug it then have no light so i like that if you need to go to the bathroom or take a picture or whatever it's really nice i like the fact that you can use these anti-gravity batteries um they're relatively expensive but they're really really nice i think this one's 130 bucks 140 bucks but it lasted all night i never turned my light off all night long i just left it on to see um, I'm not sure exactly how long we were out there, but probably like two and a half hours and no indication of it dying. Let's take a look actually. We'll see what it says for charge. So yeah, it's over half. So it's like five little lights and it's just over half still. So um, Chris said that it, this will hold up for like, with that thing running, oh, uh, four and a half hours. This is maybe saying to me that it might be longer than that. Of course, he's going to be on the conservative side when he tells you. So anyway, super cool way it works with that. One thing that people were asking me is, does it have settings, like brightness settings? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have an ability to turn down the brightness. I don't care about that. That's fine with me. I just need to know how long it's going to last on the setting it's on. My other lights that I've run before have, you know, you can set it. But if you turn it all the way up, it chews the battery up really fast. If you turn it way down, you can't see as good. I like this thing. It's plenty bright and I can see just fine. So I'm okay with the fact that it doesn't have brightness settings, but if that's an important thing to you, no, it doesn't. The lens is really cool. This lens on here, the way it's set up right now is it spreads the light out sideways, like out in a wide pattern, right? But if you turn it, it would go up and down. So if you put it on top, then it would be wide. So it's cool, you can change this out. You can also get a spot or just a um, general flood. I really like this because it kind of makes a big band of light out in front of you to see through turns and things like that. Um, and it's super easy to change. Um, it's orientation, just 
four little allens, flip it around, it's all good. You can also wash it that way, clean it really good. So yeah. I am crazy happy with that helmet light. I really like, the other thing I like about this versus my other one, my other one clamps to the jaw out here, which puts more weight out away from my neck, making the helmet feel heavier, more neck fatigue, all that stuff. Um, also, when since I run my camera here, that gets really awkward if I'm doing that. I like the fact that this is, you mount it wherever you want. So having it back here directly over my neck makes it less cumbersome, I guess. It is back here a little bit. It does kind of try to shine into your face, just a fuzz, but you get used to that pretty quickly. You could also scoot it forward a little bit to, you know, get over that. Uh, but in general, guys, torch helmet light, super rad. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of us riding. I believe the helmet light itself is 250 bucks, and that's with uh, whichever version you're using, whether it be the bike power or battery power, then you have, you have to either buy the battery for another hundred and something dollars, or you plug it into your bike and maybe you have to do some work with the wiring harness. But anyway, I hope you guys like that. Hope that's informative. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below with anything you want to know about. I've run lots and lots of helmet lights, racing the Baja 1000, doing some 24 hour races, things like that. I feel like I know a fair amount about helmet lights and I really like this one. Hope that's helpful. Guys, get out, spread the gospel of two wheels, and I desperately hope that what we're doing here at Highland Cycles is inspiring you guys to get out and ride your dirt bikes!